This explains about the location of plate boundaries and their associated features. So we'll just get started with the plate tectonics theory. Now, it is, ju it is just a theory, but there's lots of evidence to, to support it. So uh, plate tectonics is a theory that tries to explain how the Earth is structured and what it's made up of. Um, and we'll see in a moment a, an ideal diagram of the Earth's interior. So the Earth formed, we think, approximately 4.5 billion years ago following the huge explosion of a star. And the materials that make up our Earth slowly gathered together due to gravity to create a ball of hot molten material. So it would have been uninhabitable at the, at the time. And that material slowly cooled over geological time, forming a crust at the Earth's surface of rocks. And those rocks are fractured into huge segments called tectonic plates. Um, and one of the theories about why those plates move is that they're slowly pushed and shoved around from underneath by currents within the mantle called convection currents. OK, so you can see the, the Earth there uh, with the, the yellow lines on the fracture lines for, for the edges of the plates. OK, so you've got the African plate across here, moving away from the North American plate here, Eurasia, uh, moving eastwards, uh, and the dividing line there, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And so the Earth's uh, crust is fractured into tectonic plates like the Eurasian. And the plate margins are the edges of the plates where two plates are moving apart colliding into each other or sliding past one another and then if we could slice away part of the earth in cross section to have a look inside um, you'd have the crust so we've got two types of oceanic um, which is denser newer and thinner we'll come back to that in a minute continental which is older thicker and less dense you have the mantle which is a zone of molten silicates and other minerals it's molten so it moves and the source of heat to keep it molten um, is drives convection currents and it's about 2,900 kilometers thick. Below that we've got the outer core which is under slightly less pressure and then within the Earth's centre we have a solid core of iron and nickel and that's solid despite temperatures of 3,700 degrees Celsius and that's because th there's a lot of pressure pushing down on the Earth's core. And there you can see the convection currents that drive the, the plates above. So the tectonic plates are made up of uh, different materials. There's two broad types. Okay, here you can see the continental crust. It's a little bit uh, lighter. Okay, and um, you know it's up to uh, 70 kilometers thick, but it's 22 miles thick on on average and is made of, of granite. Okay, um, it's older because it tends not to be destroyed. And then the oceanic crust here is younger. Uh, heavier and mainly composed of, of things like basalt and gabbro and it's mainly formed at constructive margins or spread in mid-ocean ridges and it does get destroyed at destructive margins so we'll have a look at that next lesson and then you've got a map there of the earth's tectonic plates so you can see there's, there's major ones like the eurasian north american pacific uh, nazca south america african um, indo-australian and indian okay um, and then we do have smaller ones like the Cocos plate and, and, and so on. So that the, the Earth's crust is fractured into these huge chunks. Um, and then we've got boundaries between them. So um, where the arrows are going apart, that indicates that the plates are moving apart. Where the, And those are called constructive plate margins or divergent plate margins because they're diverging apart. Where the plates crash together, like here down in the Nazca plate. Okay. Um, the plate the plates are going together that's a destructive plate margin and the little red triangles represent subduction so the nazca plate is being pushed underneath the south american plate where the arrows go together like that in similar sort of directions or opposite directions that's a conservative plate margin the plates are sliding past one another so the uh, green lines there represent your um, represent your trenches OK, the squiggly lines here represent fold mountains. So those are new fold mountains where two plates collide. We tend to get a range of, of mountains. And then we'll bring on the uh, the earthquakes there. Uh, the earthquakes tend to happen along every different type of plate margin. So we get them on destructive margins. We get them on constructive margins. And we also get them on conservative margins. We'll bring on the volcanoes. The volcanoes... Um, happen on destructive margins uh, they'll happen on constructive margins as well not the same type where we get our cons uh, conservative boundaries we tend not to get major volcanoes because there's no space for the magma to to escape 
So your tasks, um, you define the terms there. You're going to watch the video that pop up here and label up your diagram. And then uh, you've got a table to complete on the different um, on the different plate margins. We'll oh, just skip through that. And you've got those maps there to help you as well with that with that table. So um, that's that's the tasks. You've got this worksheet here to help you as well. Okay. Um, so there's the the gaps for putting in your uh, your definitions of tectonic plates and so on. There's the diagram for you to complete and label. You can see where it says click here to tap the text um, and then use the maps. Do we get fold mountains on constructive margins? So you can have a look in the green box here on the map. Do we get trenches? Um, do we get those in the gold box on the destructive margin? Do we get them on the conservative? Okay. Um, and then the last task is just to say where do we get volcanoes and and earthquakes um, and we'll just finish up with a dad joke two tectonic plates bump into each other one turns around to the other one and says don't worry it's not your fault <laughs>